Nature isn't just out there in some far off exotic location. It's all around us, including right outside our doors. Hi, my name is Shannon Tromboli, and I am the host of Backyard Ecology. I invite you to join us as we ignite our curiosity and natural wonder, explore our yards and communities, and improve our local pollinator and wildlife habitat. Hi everyone. I wanna thank each of you who have joined me on this journey. I am having so much fun with the Backyard Ecology blog and podcast. I have already met so many interesting people, both podcast guests and those of you who have emailed or connected with me on social media. I can't believe we're already up to episode 24 of the Backyard Ecology podcast. And the blog has been going on in one form or another for much longer than that. I am really looking forward to continuing on this journey with you. However, I've also realized over the last few months that I greatly underestimated how much time it would take to produce the podcast. There's a lot more behind the scenes stuff than I realized, and I invest significant amounts of time in each episode to make it the absolute best that I can make it. Trying to keep up with producing weekly podcast episodes, writing weekly blog articles, teaching online classes, growing plants for my nursery, taking care of my bees, speaking to clubs and other groups about pollinators and gardening for pollinators, just taking care of all that normal life stuff that we all have, having a little bit of family time, and, and, and has honestly left me feeling more than a little overwhelmed, stressed, and exhausted. I've managed so far, but just barely. And managing has come at the cost of almost all of my personal playtime. There were so many hikes that I wanted to go on, new gardens that I wanted to create, canoe trips that I wanted to take, etc. this spring, and none of that has happened. I've made this mistake before, and I know from experience that this is not a sustainable long-term strategy. We all need to be able to take time away just for ourselves, to recharge and come back energized. I'm no different. I also recognize that I don't always do a good job of taking that time. I'm trying to get better at that, but it's not easy. In the April 2021 edition of the Backyard Ecology Community Newsletter, which goes out to all of Backyard Ecology's monthly financial supporters, I shared a little bit about my feelings of overwhelm. I also let them know that I was thinking about switching to an every other week podcast schedule, just to free up a little time and give me a little breathing space. I was nervous about how they, and eventually all of you, would react to that idea. I know from all of the emails and comments that I receive how valuable and interesting many of you find the content I provide. I enjoy providing that content, and I didn't want to let anyone down, and I was afraid that only producing the podcast every other week would let you down. Then I received the most amazing and freeing email. One of the community members responded that they were perfectly okay with the idea of changing the podcast to an every other week schedule. In fact, that would actually help them in many ways. They love the backyard ecology content, but are feeling overwhelmed themselves and are struggling to keep up with everything in their life as well. They also said that changing the blog to an every other week schedule so that the blog and the podcast alternated could be beneficial as well. Suddenly, it was like a weight was lifted off of me, and my perspective suddenly shifted. I realized that I'm not the only one struggling to keep up or feeling overwhelmed. Many of us are in that same boat. And like me, many of us find it really hard to admit that we were feeling that way, or to figure out how to deal with it, even if we can admit it to ourselves. So we keep trying to struggle through and hope that we can eventually figure out how to juggle everything, typically while taking on more and more, because life never stops throwing new opportunities and challenges our way. That member's email helped me realize that less can be more, and that dropping back to an every other week schedule for both the blog and the podcast might not be letting all of you down but instead could be helping you by giving you more time to digest the content and then get outside and enjoy nature. 
because what's the good of learning about all the cool things we can find in our own yards and communities if we never have the time to go out and look for and enjoy those things? So, at least for now, I'm going to take that community member's advice and switch to an alternating schedule for the podcast and the blog. This is the first podcast episode on that alternating schedule, which means that next week I'll be producing a blog article and two weeks from now will be when the next podcast episode goes out. If you're signed up for the Backyard Ecology emails, then starting next week, emails will go out once a week on Thursdays. If you aren't signed up for my Backyard Ecology email list, then I encourage you to do so by visiting the Backyard Ecology website at www.backyardecology.net and clicking on the subscribe link in the menu. In case you are wondering, the Backyard Ecology community newsletter that I mentioned earlier is different from the regular Backyard Ecology email list. The email list is free for everyone, just like the podcast and the blog. The newsletter is one of the perks for those who choose to contribute to the monthly expenses associated with running Backyard Ecology. If you are interested in learning more about all the different ways you can help Backyard Ecology, then please visit the Backyard Ecology website and click on the Join Us link. That page has all kinds of different ways that you can help support Backyard Ecology, and many of those ways are completely free. I also have a big favor to ask. If you are skilled at website management, and might be interested in helping out some with the Backyard Ecology webpage, will you please contact me? I'm completely self-taught when it comes to websites, and while I can handle most of the day-to-day stuff, there are times when I really struggle. Not too long ago, I spent an entire day trying to troubleshoot and correct some issues. I know it would have gone much faster if I had more website experience, but that's not one of my areas of expertise. Ecology is all about the relationships of different organisms to each other and to their environment. I think it might be time to start reaching out and building more of those relationships into backyard ecology too. And asking for help like this on the website is one of my first attempts to try and do that. Hopefully the changes I'm making will help all of us feel a little less overwhelmed and will give all of us more time to go outside and enjoy the nature in our own yards and communities.